Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out the other placements. If you need a person reading, all that information is going to be down below. Page of Wands and Reverse. There's a lack of communication out here. You could be bored waiting for communication for someone from someone, or someone could be holding back communication is also what I'm getting here, okay? Someone's trying to tame their emotions, tame the situation, putting in their effort, putting in their 100% to stay away from you or to stay away from communicating with you, okay? This person's more than getting bored. You're getting bored waiting for them. There's no passion. There's probably no sex. But I feel that this is someone here, you know, who's holding back communication on purpose, procrastinating, whether they should contact you or not. But they want to. They want to. Okay? But they're just not sure. They're doubting themselves. But this person has a lot of emotions for you. They're just trying to stay away from you as much as they can, putting in their 100%. Five of Cups in reverse. You're probably moving forward. Okay? You feel left out in the cold here. You're probably holding on to a lot of grudges out here. Uh, if not crushes, but this is definitely you who is holding on to a lot of issues from the past out here, right? This could be you, this could be them, but someone's trying to move forward out here, okay? Letting the bygones be, into, be bygones and just wanting to see what's out there in the future. Ten of swords. So there's been an ending between you both. There's definitely been an ending between you both here. Someone feels very left out in the cold and wants to come towards you and communicate to you like yesterday. They would want to talk, would have wanted to message you yesterday. That's how much of a hurry they are in. There are opportunities here, but the problem here is this person keeps feeling very left out. They feel very abandoned by you. There's this energy of where they feel not good enough for you. You know, there's this person could have a lot of codependent issues or someone who just has abandonment issues. They could have gone through a lot in the past. which they're not being able to move on from, which they're not being able to heal or forgive here. But someone out here feels very backstabbed, betrayed, and they feel like the relationship is over and done with, or they just feel like a waking out here. Let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more. Scorpio, what's going on in your connection? From now to the end of July, you can tell me more. Five of Wands. There's a lot of inner confusion here. A lot of confusion here. Somewhere out here, it's constantly debating in their head. Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? You know, it's like that. But I think you have probably moved on from this person and or this connection or this situation, whatever, the breakup separation here. This person out here is very confused, okay? Or there could just be a lot of, um, say, um, arguments, bickering, pettiness. There's a lot of difficulty moving forward in this connection out here, okay? Because there's too much opposition here. I feel there's a lot of irritation also, okay? But let's see. I think everything's in the unknown. This is all only because there's no communication here. But with the bone card here, I feel someone has a lot of feelings for you. This person wants to move towards you, okay? They want to make something a victory, a success. They want to move forward with you. But I feel it's the lack of communication here. Again and again, I keep getting when there is no communication you you keep guessing whether this person is interested or not or the cross watchers not sure about whether to communicate because they don't know if you're still interested in reviving this relationship because there's been an ending out here okay tell me more let's stop you the sun wow i think this person wants to express themselves here that's self-expression, right? This person out here sees your, sees you as their end-all, be-all. They see you as their happy ever after. They see you as the one who makes them very, very happy. But, you know, the problem here is that the self-expression part, it's more like, you know, yes, I want all this with you. Yes, I want to talk to you. Yes, I want to give you clarity, you know. But it's like when there is no communication, right? You don't expect the other person to understand telepathically, right? That you want that person. That's what's happening here. Someone's here who's more like imbalanced out here. This person could have, you know, uh, a problem with having a lot of excessive behaviors. So one moment they want to do something, the next moment they don't. You know, they're losing that balance out here. There's no, they don't have a balanced approach. See, that's why the page of wands in reverse is coming. And then the sun is coming here. The sun can also be clarity. Okay, it can also be clarity of some sort here. But someone out here is probably trying to see the situation in a more positive way, in a more fun and passionate way. Okay, someone wants success. But this, this is someone who is wanting to be a little optimistic here. Let's see. We'll see who this person is. Because I'm getting you and this person here. What's the, what's going on? Tell me more for Scorpio. End of July. Tell me more. Tell Seven of Cups in reverse. 
this person could be very overwhelmed, you know, very overwhelmed. They probably, you know, they put in all the work out here, but right now they probably feel that um, there are too many options or this person is just very confused with the amount of options that they have. Which is why there's no forward movement here. I think this person is waiting and watching. There's like this wait and watch game going on. Tell me more. Two of cups of reverse. See, there is a disconnection out here. There is a disconnection out here. There was so much love here, but there is an ending here, right? It's like the ending makes this person question what's going on. more about what's going on that's happening. Seven of Pentacles and Eight of Wands in reverse. So it looks like there is still this lack of forward movement out here. Okay? Because like I was just saying that, didn't I keep saying that? There's like this wait and watch energy out here. Someone has put in all their work, their effort here, and now they're just going to wait and watch, okay, about what to do next year. This person here is probably like slowing down, okay, and they're probably reflecting on how or what they should do now, you know, in order to move forward here, in order to improve on the plan that they have here. But there's this re-evaluating of goals out here, okay, of like, you know, aligning yourself with what is relevant to you and what is not, because this person clearly uh, does not want to waste their valuable time, okay, money, resources, whatever this is. Because I do see an ending here and two people not even together right now, not on the same page. Let's see. Uh, what's the page of wands in reverse here? What's the page of wands in reverse? See, <laughs> this was there, right? This person's trying to hold back communication. They're trying to hold back as much as they can. They love you. They realize that they've sabotaged the connection out here. They've pushed you away. They know that they did something. They, they actually pushed away a connection and relationship that they really, really wanted. This person could have trust issues. Yeah. And someone who wants to one up all the time. You know, they want to win at any cost here. So, which is, which leaves them with an empty victory. So, I think the last time you had a conversation, they sabotaged the connection again. Uh, thinking that they won. But actually now they realize like, guess what? I fucked up. You know, I fucked up. They got played actually, is what I'm getting here. And now they're trying their best because their ego, their pride is holding them back from communicating with you because it's like, what an idiot am I gonna look like if I communicate back with this person, with Scorpio? And Scorpios would be like, yep, yeah, I was expecting that. But they have a lot of love for you. This person is very emotionally balanced right now, okay? They're very compassionate, really, really in love with you, okay? But it's like that guilt, you know? It's, it's more like a pride, like shit. I'm gonna look like such a fool. What's the five of cups in reverse? Yeah. Someone, I think you don't want a reconciliation. I think you're moving forward from this connection out here and I think you have the clarity about it. You're trying to, um, you know, I'm getting a place where um, you haven't moved on from this person here, but you haven't even forgiven them. You know, it's like you're in this in-between stage out here is what I'm getting. You know, there's one energy where you completely try to disconnect from a person here, you know, just completely detach from a person, you know, so that you, you know what you want. But right now, I'm getting that energy where you're being very, very, um, you're manipulating the situation right now. You want to talk to this person, but you're manipulating the situation right now, okay, in order to control you control them or they are trying to control you by manipulating the situation or trying to be co communicative etc you know someone's being a little selfish out here you know because this is here who's putting their needs you know and seeing others needs as uh, just not important but yeah this person wants communication they want clarity but they're just being very distant very emotionless you know because they don't want to open up emotionally don't want to be vulnerable because they fear betrayal. This could be you. I feel you're trying to move forward. You're trying to move on. And there's, because either this person put you in a third party situation. There was another person involved here. They cheated, lied. Or this is just you who just does not, you're just in no mood of a re reconciliation. You just don't want to reconcile. You want to be on your own. You need that time off. What's the Ten of Swords? What's the Ten of Swords?
person out here, right? Even after the betrayal out here, I feel this person out here is refusing to compromise. This person is coming off as very, very weak, you know? So there is this energy of where, you know, you're very, very strong, okay? But instead of coming in as strong and, um, you know, this, this is someone here, you know, who's... Um, okay, I'm getting two stories here. Either this person is being very stubborn, okay? And uh, there are too many obstacles between you both, but this person is, you know, just wasting their energy in holding on to what they end and they're lacking the closure out here, they're not giving you the closure. Or this is you who feels something is a waste of time, it's a lack of energy, you don't want to save this relationship anymore. And, uh, but it's still unfinished business, so whatever. I feel it's the first story here where this person out here is still not throwing in the towel. I don't think so. I think this person out here is just being very, very stubborn out here very stubborn out here which is why there is unfinished business and they're not ready to close a chapter even though they feel like a victim out here which means that they want the victim here you are the victim here but this is how they feel okay what's the five of wands you know i feel this person's putting in all their energy trying to save this trying to save this chapter trying to stop this chapter from ending her but the truth is it's already ended here and only if they end this chapter only then they can start a new chapter but what happens sometimes people don't want to close that chapter because they're not sure if they can start fresh with you or they just have fear of being alone okay what's the five of wands see this person is not happy without you they're not happy without you there's this constant tug of war going on in their head should I, should I not, should I, should I not, their head says something else, their heart says something else here. This person could be someone here who is very happy and they don't want to lose their independence is also what I'm getting here, you know. Um, I'm getting someone here, you know, who tries to probably just stay busy in their day-to-day -day activities so that they don't have to think about wanting to be with you, wanting to be in a relationship with you. They'd rather focus on the money, focus, you know, on being on their own here because this person, again, I'm getting somebody who does not want to be vulnerable. See, it's very simple. The moment you open up, the moment you're in love with someone, right, you tend to be vulnerable. Slowly, slowly you open up. And when you're vulnerable, you have, um, you open the doors to uh, being hurt. And this person out here is probably overthinking, you know. This person could be overthinking, and uh, they're dealing with paranoia also probably they do feel very lonely and isolated even if they're with friends or whatever right but uh, this person out here is just trying to push themselves away from you that's what they're doing by holding back they're pushing themselves away from you and you're just like just fed up of dealing with this bullshit they don't even want to end the cycle and they don't even want to you know give in so they're in two minds out here they're just wanting to be single out here focusing on themselves here but they're just putting up a show that's just a show here fake it till you make it they're just trying to show the world how happy they are but actually deep within they're dying what's the sun here so much pride my god what's the sun here wow so this is you okay so it looks like you have the clarity okay there's this um there's this harsh truth that's on your fucking face that's on your face like okay you know what this is not working out this is not happening and you have the clarity about the situation and now you're wanting to move forward in your life with some kind of clarity out here okay like i said this person does refuses to give you the closure so they would say something but at the last conversation which is like okay well so i mean what do we do are we in this are we trying do we need time do i need to wait are you walking away are you going to come back after six months what's going on so they keep you hanging you know they keep you hanging because they're very, very stubborn, you know, to let you go. Very stubborn to let you go. But even though they feel like a victim, I don't, I don't think you've done anything to them. They just feel like that. You, on the other hand here, I feel you're trying to bring a lot of positivity and good in your life. You're trying to look at new opportunities. You're full of enthusiasm and optimism. Because I feel it's like been like a long time coming, okay? I think you're just spending time doing things that make you feel happy, you know, being with people that you love, admire. Because there has been a reality out here or like a reality check. You have that and you're like something was not right out here and uh, you have that mental clarity out here whether this person gives it to you or not here seven of wands in reverse but yeah the lovers in reverse you're giving up on a relationship here probably this is like the end uh, of a soulmate contract or this is just a connection here where things were just like uh, this person wasn't either choosing you or they were uh, not giving you the commitment you fought for this connection for a very long time but it was like a battle that you wouldn't win 
three souls to give up. What's the seven of cups in reverse here? What's the seven of cups in reverse? This person is very overwhelmed. Again, I said the same thing here. This person has a lot of love for you, but they're probably wanting to make a choice out here. You know, they're very torn, is what I'm getting here. They're very torn, you know. They don't know what to do. They don't want to make a wrong decision here. And, um, how do I say this? They're using their willpower is what I'm getting here, okay? Trying to weigh up their options before deciding on one that is best for them, okay? I don't think they're indecisive. I just feel that, you know, they could be clear about what they want, but the decision is still pending here. Because probably they have too many options here, <clears throat> or they just don't know which is the right way to come towards you. Can they salvage the relationship, or is it done and over with? You know, a lot of thinking energy out here. The waiting game is what I'm getting. But again, they love you very much. Okay, so that's just something that I can't deny. They do. They have a lot of emotions for you. They're keeping things on hold because this person here feels um, there's a lack of um, commitment. Eh? First of all, this person is someone here who is not being able to give you what you want. Okay, Maybe commitment is what you want here. And this person right now is probably feeling that um, either it's a missed opportunity okay because this person is uh, refusing to compromise or because they're just ignoring this or there's just no stability here which is why things are on hold right now with a hangar here okay well the universe is telling you if there's nothing you can do about it then just let it be okay let it be where it is surrender okay and i think they've surrendered that's what i'm getting here this person surrendered to the universe if it's ha if it has to happen it'll happen but they're not taking any initiative or putting in any action to make things happen which is why they are stuck and sitting on the fence here Two of cups in reverse. Why is this here? Why is this here? Two of cups in reverse. Ace of swords. Okay. They can't move on from you. <clears throat> they can't move on from you. So the truth of the matter, they know, is that right now that you guys are not together. Okay, but they want a breakthrough in this situation here. But where is the communication here? I think this person here is not ready to give you like that, that like that, um, like the full blown commitment or the full blown relationship. They're not ready for it, which is why they're probably stopping themselves from communicating with you. Or this is just how they see you, probably, you know, as someone you know who's just gonna cut their head off because it's like if you come, if they come towards you with a lame ass apology or just like something small here, you're just your like, screw you, you know. But yeah. This person knows that right now, the truth is that you guys are not together here. They want to offer you the world, but they're not ready for it. And that's why they're not... They, you know, this person here is very scared to communicate with you. That's also what I'm getting here. Very scared to communicate. They, I, I, I keep getting that lying and trying to manipulate you, you know, in order to control you. So they want to keep you in this relationship, even though they're not ready for it. So they don't want, they don't want to ask you to wait for them, because then again, that's something which is like on them. And they don't even want you to move on because again they miss you they love you they want you okay so i think they're trying to tame you according to the way they want to okay but uh, they're not learning from their mistakes they're not learning from their mistakes someone very very negative is what i'm getting here very negative they're very, they, they fear emotional pain you know emotional vulnerability okay let's see they think very they like empathy right now what's the seven of pentacles here what's the seven of pentacles Yeah, see this person right now, while they're away from you, this person is not doing anything. They're just single on their own and trying to focus on their career, their money, their goals out here. Right now, there there is a lack of a reconciliation or a lack of a second opportunity here. Because someone out here is stubborn as fuck and they refuse to learn their lessons. They're doing the same shit, different thing. So if they're not contacting you, I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing. They'd rather not come back towards you and start the same old bullshit, you know and start the same old cycle which you're pretty much over and done with because you already have a realization of that but whilst they're wait, making you wait or while they're waiting and while the situation is going to alter this person is trying to be very secure and confident in who they are whilst focusing on their money and goals okay see this person is not ready i'm just going to tell you they're not ready to so if they're keeping you on hold and there's no communication work well, good they'd rather not come towards you because you're fed up you're done right you're done 
this is why they're not communicate communicating with you because see the page of wands in reverse so even if they communicate right it's not like a fucking king of wands it's not like a king here who's like you know what i know what you want let's do this no they're still going to come towards you with that lame ass communication which you're not really interested in okay which is why things don't move forward why is the eight of wands in reverse here why is the eight of wands in reverse why is the eight of wands in reverse wants to come towards you. They want to take action. They have a lot of passion for you, but when it comes to commitment, you know what I'm getting? This person knows that you want commitment so bad. And now they're trying to do their best to stay away from you. Although it's very tough, it's just draining them out completely. But they're just doing their best to stay away from you. There's no movement forward here because I feel either there are too many obstacles here or, and, and because there's no communication here, right? Because things don't move forward, I feel by the end of July, you're giving up. You're turning your back to the situation here. Being very pessimistic here, you know, just impatient here. You just feel it's just not working out here. Yeah, but there's like this, you know what, I'm done. This is too much waiting and, um, you know, maybe you just feel you made a wrong decision while waiting for them. You're regretting your decisions or something here. You're not seeing the bigger picture here. You're not seeing the bigger picture out here, okay? But I think you're doubting. You're doubting because there's just no progress here. There's no growth here, which is frustrating you, okay? And you just feel it's a failed long distance relationship, and I think there's just nothing here. There's no problem, here. okay? But yeah, the, um, only real, the only reason they're not communicating with you is because they know what you want. They're trying their best to stay away from you. They refuse to close the cycle with you, although they know it's over, but it's like, no, I'm not going to give up. Now, you know, one is that willpower, okay? If you have the willpower, you kind of, you know, fight for it, okay? And one is like that stubbornness. Nor will I let you go, nor will I change, which is keeping things very unfinished here, okay? And that's why you're like, I don't fucking know what's going on, yeah? So, let's see. Give me one more card for the Ace of Swords here. I want to see. What's the Ace of Swords here with the Two of Cups and Jewels? What's the Ace of Swords here with the Two of Cups and Jewels? See, there is no commitment here. And you see that very, very clearly. You know, you'd want to work with them. You'd want to work with them. You probably think you guys are badass together. But the thing is that you want to put in the work here. But you just see it for what it is, right? That there is just no connection right now. Or this is a very strong twin flame connection where you guys are just not being able to get together on the same page. Or again, I'm getting the same shit that I said before. This person's just not ready for it right now. Okay. This person's choosing to be single, choosing to be on their own. Rather than get into, um, you know, a relationship with you and just like fool around with you again. Okay. That's like a good realization. Good for you. Good for them. Alright, so that's what I have for you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.